On the, um, on the verso, on the backside of this, I was thinking about how the American Empire and the Roman Empire have this parallel. The, as the U.S. was becoming a nation, it was looking to the Roman Empire and saying, oh, they did so many things right. But one of the things they did was have slavery as a way of supporting the empire. And there were bricks then too, so ancient Roman bricks often have a stamp on them. Some of those stamps look like these kinds of crescents, and some of the, the crescents will have the name of the person who owned the clay pit, the name of the person who owned an individual, and sometimes even the name of the person who was owned, all on a stamp. Those crescent-shaped stamps to me started looking like afros, and so we designed this crescent-shaped stamp, but put in it the name, the word schiavo, which is a word for slave, but also the word that we get the word chow from. So when we greet each other and say chow, we're actually saying, I am your slave. So thinking about how the empire lives on and enslavement lives on in um, even the warmest of greetings um, and that connection between those two empires.